At a basic level, the United States-Mexico border region is defined by a line on the earth. In his poem Borderlines, Arizona's 2014 poet laureate Alberto Rios clearly sees the border is what joins us, not what separates us. In the same spirit, the design for the new Mariposa Land Port of Entry aspires to reach out with grace and authenticity to our southern neighbors to say welcome. Located west of Nogales in southern Arizona, this 55-acre, 270,000 square foot project is inspired by the concept of a life-giving desert oasis. Harvested rainwater supports a vital and nurturing landscape that is designed to infuse the human experience with a connection to nature, to alleviate stress and create a respite for both the visitors and officers who operate the port. Symbolically, this major reinvention of the port of entry is also very much a cultural connection rather than a division. Stretching 1,000 feet across the site, the threshold of the new port is an entry pavilion inspired by the waving red, white, and blue flag, greeting visitors and commercial travelers into the fourth busiest port in the U.S. Analysis of the existing bustling vehicle and pedestrian processing operations exposed extreme traffic flow deficiencies, which contributed to air quality issues and emphasized that a clear and efficient pattern of movement was critical. The solution to the chaos was found in the simplicity of a railroad yard design. Clear zoning of the site emphasizes smooth, continuous paths and optimized traffic movement around the centrally located oasis. The port's configuration creates a peaceful and secure oasis zone defined with color, natural daylighting and views of nature for the long bar-shaped buildings, shade, thermal comfort, safety, efficiency, and the celebration of water conservation. The vitality of the port comes from its handling of water, a critical element in the desert. Nogales is characterized by massive rainfalls during the monsoon season, paired against many months devoid of precipitation. The roofs and pavement throughout the port's campus are carefully designed to harvest this rainwater to support a vibrant landscape. A section cut through this area illustrates how the secure oasis zone is defined by lush vegetation, sculptural roof scuppers, sunken gardens, and a system of interconnected underground drainage pipes that transport rainwater to a central harvesting reservoir. In a typical year, the project will be net zero water for irrigation and is certified lead gold. From April through June, there is a calculated shortage of over 746,000 gallons. To accommodate this shortage, a rainwater harvesting storage system of 1 million gallons was designed to allow for prolonged periods of drought. In August of 2013, it's maximized the storage capacity in only two weeks. This void chamber system utilizes a base liner, a stone bed layer, a vaulted plastic void form that naturally resists compressive forces, a stone top layer, and an earth cover. The underground drainage system of the port terminates at this reservoir. From all of the buildings, roof water drops from scuppers into sunken gardens before entering the harvesting system. Pervious pavers and concrete were utilized to allow rainwater to first percolate and saturate the ground before draining into the harvesting system. Scuppers are designed throughout the project as sculptural objects that celebrate a rain event. A cohesive language of steel shapes and sizes respond to the tributary roof area. Some scuppers are located so that the rain event can be experienced from an adjacent interior space, while some occur at activity nodes along the oasis zone. At this confluence of exterior circulation and interior views, roof water is focused through steel pipe splash guards and into the sunken garden below. When a rain event results in more than two inches of water in the garden, it overflows into the underground drainage system, which is connected to the water harvesting reservoir. At the focal point of the central oasis axis, the pedestrian plaza is organized around a dramatic scupper and catchment basin. The crash plate of the scupper focuses all water from the 26,000 square foot canopy roof into the collection basin. 
This basin also connects directly to the underground drainage system and water harvesting reservoir. Also at the Oasis Pedestrian Plaza, a bioremediation fountain helps filter the harvest while providing an intimate space for private reflection filled with the calm and soothing sounds of rustling water. The Mariposa Land Port of Entry is a study in transformation. Before, there was an unwelcoming and dangerous mix of vehicular and pedestrian traffic arriving in the United States via what is essentially a parking lot. Through careful planning and thoughtful water harvesting design, a beautiful and vital landscape can be sustained, one that embodies the best aspirations of the United States.